Hey guys and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and I want to show you the way that you can use view binding in the fragments. Just like this. In the main activity, I have a button. I'm clicking on it. The fragment will be open. And when I'm clicking on the fragment, this toast message will appear. But uh, not in the old fashioned way. I want to initialize the button and the text view uh by using the view binding so if you are ready hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up and let's get started okay this is the old-fashioned way that we are using to initialize the widgets just like this val button and we are using the find view by id and also here in the fragment is the same i use the find view by id to initialize the text view and now i want to show you how to use the view binding okay let's go to the project here to the uh, modular app build gradle and here i'm going to write build features and view binding true without any equal or something any sign between these two and then uh, sync we need this only these two lines the sync is done and now we can use the view binding okay we should start from the main activity here in the main activity uh, i'm going to delete this and uh, here in the global scope uh, i need a late init variable uh, i'm going to call it binding and uh, as you see uh, this one the class activity main binding is created automatically uh, by the SDK so I need this and here after the super I'm going to write binding equal to activity main binding dot inflate here and here layout inflator and instead of this I'm going to write binding dot root simply i have added a variable here i've initialized the variable and here i use the variable uh, to set the layout to the cut lane file the layout is the activity main and if i'm holding the control and clicking on root i will be redirected to activity main so that's it now here i have the button dot satan click listener here if i write binding and press dot i can see the list of the widgets that i have this is the button and now if i delete this one you see I have used the binding to initialize my button just like this now I have binding that button that's a tanky click listener if I had any other widget I could use it till here I had a video and uh, probably you have watched that video uh, to uh, be familiar with using view binding in the activity and uh, from here will be a new topic let's go to the frag as always in the fragment we don't need this stuff so i'm going to delete them and i will just keep the function override that function on create view and just like this uh, i'm going to keep the toast message here or maybe let me delete all of them and show you just this so 
so when you are creating a fragment in the onCreate uh, function on create view function you will see something like this here in the global scope again uh, i need variable but this time two variables not only one so first one private let in it variable i'm going to call it underscore binding you can call it anything you want with a type of fragment and this is the first fragment so uh, it should be a fragment first it's here fragment first binding and question mark then equals to null then in the next slide private late init variable this time i'm going to call it uh, sorry this one should not be late init it should be a variable and this one also it should be a val uh, this time i'm going to call it again binding and get equals to underscore binding and a null check okay uh, then here i have to initialize it so i'm going to this view and we don't need this comment here i'm going to write underscore binding equals to fragment first binding dot uh, inflate and the thing that we have here inflator dot inflate and everything uh, inflator then comma container and false and then in the next line uh, return binding dot root and now we don't need this line at all here i have something to delete make not null again i'm going to zoom for you and you can see it better that's everything for the view binding in fragment and now you can use the binding to initialize the widget so here in the first fragment i have a text view and the idea of the text view is tv fragment so i'm going to write binding dot and you see it here tv fragment if i add another widget let me delete this and here i'm going to add something just to show you a button no matter the size and everything and here i'm just going to write an id for it btn and that's enough now let's go back to the fragment and here i'm going to write binding and dot and you see the btn is here and the fragment is here so either i can uh, write binding for each of the uh, widget that i'm going to use or i can uh, write here apply and between these two brackets i can do whatever i want so i'm going to write uh, just tv fragment dot set on click listener and here a toast message or maybe only context
subscribe please and uh, those dot length short dot show and here also the btn dot set and click listener and whatever i want uh, just like this let's check it on the emulator and uh, if you are satisfied of this content please uh, give me a thumbs up to help this video be watched by more people and if you haven't subscribed the channel please sub it now and uh, remember to hit the bell button to be aware about new videos okay The app is installed. I'm going to open the fragment and here subscribe please and here is my button. You see it. It doesn't have any text or something. Okay, that was everything about the view binding in the fragment and uh, in later in next videos I'm going to show you how to use view binding in the uh, recycler view adapter. Uh, that's a good topic as well. So uh, remember to uh, write down in the comment box below uh, your request about the videos that I should make for you and also uh, if you have any suggestion and any question write down in the comment box below and I will be so happy to answer to your questions. Have a good time. Subscribe please. Bye bye.